Hey guys, what's up? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to turn an old iPhone into a very useful and easy to use card tracker. I'm going to get into the technical bits in a second, but firstly, let's take a look at how this works. All iPhones and the 4S or newer have a feature called Find My Friends, which very simply shows you where your friends are on a map and, if enabled on their phones, can be pinged at any time. So quite simply, we're going to be setting up the spare iPhone into a friend that I can ping. And this is great because the Find My Friends app is very slick and you can set up geofence alerts that will alert you when a friend leaves a certain location. For example, when fitted to a car, this could be useful when leaving it at a mechanic's garage or in an unsafe location. As soon as someone drives your car a few hundred yards, you'll be alerted to it on your normal iPhone. Now, I know you can buy a cheap unbranded GPS tracker from Amazon for £20, but really, I'd rather put my faith in, you know, what was once a £400 phone for it to operate reliably and efficiently each time. So first off, you're going to need an old iPhone, and you can pick up a slightly smashed iPhone 4S for about £40 these days on eBay or wherever, and one that still works perfectly fine. And to help save costs in the long run, it's best to get one that's unlocked to all networks. In addition to that, if your phone didn't come with it, you need a charging or USB cable. Then you're going to need a data connection. And this isn't as expensive as it sounds because pinging your iPhone only uses kilobytes of information. So find yourself the cheapest pay-as-you-go data plan as 100 megabytes is more than enough. Of course, data plans change from time to time and from region to region. So I can't really give you any advice on finding the best one. And finally, you're going to need a USB power socket with a wiring kit and a piggyback fuse holder, since we're going to be sourcing the power directly from the car's fuse box. And all in, everything should come to less than £60. So let's start by setting up my old iPhone. I'm using the old iPhone 5 I used to have before upgraded, and I've got a suitable data plan in place. We're going to start off with an iPhone that's being reset to the factory defaults. So just go through the first few steps of setting up and choose your region and your language and connect to whatever Wi-Fi network you have available. Now two settings that's important to enable when you're setting this up is your location services as this enables GPS and we also need to set this up as a new iPhone. So that means we're going to also need to create a new Apple ID. So just give it the name of your car and uh, just set up whatever details you feel like sticking in there. I'm sure you can figure this out yourself. And select the option to get an iCloud email address. And then stick whatever name you want to stick in there. Then once it's set up, we want to enable iCloud use, uh, turn on Find My iPhone. And uh, we don't need to bother with the iCloud's keychain, Siri or diagnostics. And at this point, now you should be able to boot into your phone. So go straight to the App Store and download an app called Find My Friends. It's free to guess where it's going to prompt you to log in with your iTunes account or set a new one up. Now you can use your existing iTunes account to use on your main phone. It's not going to interfere with the process. So just log in with that. And once it's downloaded, just open the app and click yes to all the options that come up. And that's pretty much the tracker set up, so we need to do the rest of it now in your normal iPhone. So, unlock your phone, and I like going to the web browser and just downloading the logo for my car. So in this case, I'm just going to download the Vauxhall logo, and I'm going to save it to my photos library. And then we're going to go into our phone book and create a new contact. So I'm going to call my contact Vauxhall Astra, the name of my car. And once I've done that, I'm also going to click in the top left where you can add an image. And the image I've just downloaded, I'm going to stick right in there. And once that's done, we need to add an email address. So if we go click on email, change it to iCloud, and then we're going to type in the new iCloud email address you set up on your tracker phone. And then we can back out of that, then launch to Find My Friends app on your normal phone. Then we click add in the top right corner and then we can just search for Vauxhall Astra, the contact we just made. So we just enter that information and we click share indefinitely. At this stage, the Vauxhall Astra should show up on the main homepage of the Find My Friends app. Then we just simply click on your car and then we ask to follow and then a request to be sent to the tracker phone. And when the request pops up, we just on the tracker phone, we just click accept 
and then we should see back on our main phone is that our request has been accepted. And at this point, your car should now ping up on the map. And that's really the fundamentals of this setting up. Uh, it's actually kind of pretty much fully works now. Now we just need to wire this into the car and we're going to do a little bit of a test to make sure it works properly at the same time. Here's a quick overview of how we're going to wire it in. Firstly, you're going to take a piggyback fuse into the car's fuse box. Don't worry, I've got an entire video on how to do this. And then we're also going to find a earth point, which depending on your car is going to vary. And we're going to uh, connect our negative leads to the earth point, our positive leads to the fuse box. And finally, when I find where I've stuck it, we have our USB connector, which the positive and the negative terminals are going to go into the back of this. The entire car's body is basically a negative earth point, so anything that's got bare metal on, we can use for a negative. Um, the positive is a bit more specific location. So what I need to find is somewhere where I can attach basically this ring off my negative terminal uh, to where there's bare metal in the car. And I found one here, right behind my dash, and I think if I undo this, it looks like just behind here there's some bare metal. Now, of course, your car's gonna be different, but the important thing is just to keep a lookout for anywhere that could be undone and it could be screwed in. Now, if I look behind this hole here, this looks like it's bare metal. So it might be a little bit tricky to get in, but I'm thinking if we feed this in behind the panel here, go, pull and dash apart, we should be able to see, and now our copper terminal is in there, just make sure that gets in there properly, there we go, nice and lined up, and uh, time to screw that back together. At this point now, we should have an air coming off this. So now on to the fuse. So from here, we need to now source a live from our fuse box. I'm going to use one of these piggyback fuse holders. Now check out the video I'm gonna show here. Uh, this is gonna show us exactly how to source one using a multimeter from the fuse box. Just saves me getting into it too much here. Uh, but um, basically we need to find a permanent live because you want the phone to be charged the entire time. So we're gonna stick into this fuse on my car. So I needed to connect the end of my positive terminal into my piggyback fuse. I'm just going to cut the end off and strip the wire a bit and then crimp it. You can do this however you want. You can solder it as well if you want a better connection. There we go. Now let's just wrap the wire, fold it back on itself to make it a little bit thicker. And we're going to insert it into our piggyback holder. And let's crimp this together with our players, and that should give us a decent connection. There we go. And now it's time to test this out. So, insert it into our fuse box, the fuse we found. So, let's get our USB terminal. I'm going to connect them to the back here. So, positive to positive, negative to negative. Like so. Just to test this out. If all goes well, we should have a blue light. And there we go, that's working. Uh, just let's connect the phone up to it to make sure it's getting enough power through them. So, uh, let's wait. And there we are, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little bit dull, but we have the charging battery symbol because my phone's completely flat. There we go, power going into the phone. Now it's just a case of hiding the phone somewhere in the car that you don't want to see. And to be honest, it's fair to make this uh, easily accessible because you can use this as a spare phone in an emergency. So it took away somewhere a thief's not going to find it, but you can get to in an emergency. 
And now while that's done and wired into the car, let's just check this out to make sure that it works. So if we fire up our find our friends app, and our car should show on here. So if I click on my car, there we go, it shows up on the map. Um, it, and this has been a few days since filming as well, uh, since the last segment of the video. And the phone stayed charged, it's been working fantastic. Every single time I pinged it, it's been working. And it's as simple as that. And that's it for today, guys. So if this video has been useful to you, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching, take care.